Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review A Man Without a Country by Kurt Vonnegut, which wound up being the last public published works of his lifetime. It was meant to be like his fond farewell, and basically it's a collection of essays that go into his perspective of the world, and I... I'm always so excited when I get my hands on a Vonnegut book. And, like, I'm looking at the book right now. Like, this is a $24 hardback, but I got it for $8 because I found a wonderful place called Second Time Books, which is in... Is it Mount Laurel? Well, it's, like, in where I am in New Jersey. It's this wonderful little secondhand bookshop. So, like, I got a bunch of Vonnegut and Stephen King and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, shameless plugs. But this book in particular... You know, it's not a cohesive story, it doesn't tell a narrative, but if you love Vonnegut and you really mesh with his voice and his perspective and his humor, this is just like 140 pages of just chewing up gold. And, you know, it bounces around between different ideas and perspectives about the world in which we live in, but it's one of those kinds of things where, like, I was having so much fun with this, laughing so much, and just realizing how biting his perspective on everything is. Like, I, it wound up getting to the point where, like, if I found, like, a little excerpt that reminded me of somebody, or something that I thought people would appreciate, I'm just taking pictures of it and sending it to them, because it was that interesting and fun and engaging. And, you know, his voice is so crass, and just so witty in so many different ways and he's very he was very intelligent in the way he was able to portray his perspective of the world his experiences it's a bit of a biopic as well like this autobiography of him telling his own experiences writing his own books and some of the things that he had to go through along the way in his career and each each chapter is introduced by a little quote which is always fun a nice way to like jump right in and it's such an easy it's an easy read but like I think from like a it's funny and it moves and there's not a whole lot like this is some big prints on these pages and it's only 140 pages like I burned through this if I didn't get so busy on Friday, I probably would have burned through this just on Friday. Uh, but it took me less than a day to just get through all of this. I probably could have banged this out in one sitting easy. And it's that engaging, it's that thought-provoking, because he brings so many different perspectives on the world and politics and society and how we deal with all kinds of things all across life. And he makes some great cultural references. He makes some awesome references to his own works. This very meta approach to his perspective and his writing. And this is just feels like that culmination of Vonnegut's career and his works just rolled into one. And it might be weird to think about, but like I would say if you're going in trying to start Vonnegut, it might even be nice to just start here. It gives you such an interesting perspective and insight into who he was. And then you could dive into all the wonderful things from Cat's Cradle, Breakfast of Champions, just everything else. This is such an engaging and enjoyable romp through Vonnegut's brain, more or less. So, definitely would recommend. But those are my thoughts on A Man Without a Country. Let me know what you think and let's talk some books. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.